What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam. Today I'm back with a brand new lifeguarding video. Now first of all, Happy New Year everyone. I hope you guys had a great day, great New Year's Eve, and you celebrated it with your family and your friends. This is my first upload of the year, so I definitely wanna make sure that it's something that can very much help all of you, especially towards your journeys of becoming lifeguards, bettering yourself as a person, and succeeding as a lifeguard. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a workout for lifeguards. It doesn't matter if you're a boy, a girl, man, a woman, it does not matter. Because as you know, being a great swimmer requires you to have great endurance, great lower body strength, great core strength. So in today's video, I'm gonna be walking through a lower body workout and a core workout, something that I typically do once or twice a week. And I guarantee if you implement this into your routine that you'll see great results and it'll work really well with lifeguarding. Now initially I wanted to do like a daily routine and like vlog my morning and vlog my workout and vlog what I'm eating. But since a lot of random things happened that day, I couldn't actually finish it. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover of the clips that I have. So what I like to do is I actually like to train legs and do weightlifting before I do abs because if I train abs before I start weightlifting, I won't have that core strength, my legs will be wobbly, and it won't help me keep centered and be balanced, and it won't contribute to my lifts. So the first thing I like to do, and this is called a compound lift, is a squat. Now I know not all of you have an access to a gym, but if you have any sort of weight, you can even do like a backpack and just put a bunch of cans in it. Or if you have a gym or you have a couple dumbbells, I always like to start off with some squats. Now this is great because this is kind of like the main exercise for lower body. It's really good for pushing the floor. And like I said, I do this twice a week. I do about four sets of eight to 10 reps. I don't wanna go super heavy where I struggle to do one to three reps. I wanna do something that's comfortable and something that I know I can control. So I always do something in between eight to 12 reps. So this is some footage. I did a couple of angles. I did a different angle per set. And this is just me going as low as possible and just keeping my heels on the ground and focusing on pushing the floor. Now, when I started working out, I really had a good upper body, but my legs were a little lacking. So it's always great to be proportional and to really focus on building your legs as well as your upper body. Now, what I like to do after my four sets of squats is to do a different variation of a squat. So I like to hold dumbbells, a little bit lighter weight, hold, dumb, hold dumbbells on my sides and do the same thing, except I put my feet together a little bit closer. And so this is a different narrower stance, but it's still the same principle of pushing the floor. And now I try to get as low as possible. And what you'll realize is when your legs are a little bit closer together, when you push the floor, you'll feel it towards the front. You don't wanna feel it in your knees and your joints. And this is great because it goes well with it. Now at this point, you're probably gonna be very tired um, because training legs is pretty demanding, but as a lifeguard, if you have really strong legs, you'll be a great swimmer. It'll contribute to your speed, your strength in the water, and also help you look great while you're lifeguarding. Now, since the footage takes place on a day that was super hectic and I was in a rush, I didn't actually have time to do the lunges, but after I do the barbell squats and I do the dumbbell squats, I love to do lunges. I usually do a lighter weight, anywhere from eight to 12 reps, and this is great for isolating each leg. I do a reverse lunge or a front lunge, and it's great because your core helps you stay balanced and you can do really slow and smooth movements. And it's really good for getting that blood flowing. So by the time you do four sets of lunges, your legs are gonna be wobbling. It's a really great exercise and I guarantee you, if you start to incorporate it, you'll see a lot of definition in your legs. Now the final part of my leg day is I like to train calves. Now. Typically what I like to do is I put two plates on the floor and I kind of put my toes on the plates and I use a bar like under a squat rack. And I basically unrack it and I just use the my calves to lift up, focusing on like my, my big toe. Now my calves always been a little lacking so this is something that I really want to make sure that I do a five second pause at the top to really squeeze. And I typically aim anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, a little bit of higher of a rep range just because I don't want any cramps in my legs or anything like that. So I'm using a little bit more comfortable weight. I'm making sure I do like 15 good reps with five second pauses at the top. And I usually do this before four sets. Those are four main exercises that kind of do your entire leg. Now, after I do the weight training, I like to do core. I usually take like a five to 10 minute break, drink some water. I don't want to eat any food because when I'm doing core, I don't want food in my stomach because I don't want to feel sick. But I usually do about like a five to 10 minute ab circuit. Now, I'll link down below a workout that I used to do. I have a beginner ab workout and an intermediate ab workout. That It's a follow along type video. I made this a couple years ago, actually a year and a half ago, I think was my recent one. I highly recommend you check it out because it's very good for doing a couple times a week. You'll feel the burn 
and you don't need any equipment. So you can do this in your living room, your bedroom, you can do it outside on the grass, it doesn't matter where you are, it's something that you can do, it can implement into your life and also helps build your core strength, which is great for lifeguarding. So I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely comment down below if you have any questions and like the video if you wanna see more workouts. Something I'm definitely very passionate about and I am definitely wanna start vlogging my workouts and kind of transitioning to a lifestyle type channel while also continuing to make lifeguard videos. So definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.